Yesterday, Tesla took to Twitter to announce that the Hospital Del Nino's Children's Hospital will be the company's first solar and energy storage project to go live in Puerto Rico. Earlier this month, big tech companies rolled out plans to aid in the reconstruction effort after Hurricane Maria left Puerto Rico in ruins. Cisco, Microsoft, and Facebook sent tactical teams of engineers to work with the local government to set up a communications network, which is crucial for ongoing rescue and reconstruction efforts. Last Friday, Google's parent company, Alphabet, turned on its internet balloons. Part of the company's project, Loon, the balloons are providing basic web access, email, and texting in remote areas of the US territory. Well, Tesla CEO Elon Musk gained the attention of Puerto Rico's governor, Ricardo Rossello, when he said that the company's solar and battery systems could be used to restore the devastated island. The governor tweeted, let's talk. Well, it looks like their conversations were fruitful as the children's hospital in San Juan will be the first of many microgrid installations that will use renewable energy to help bring power back to Puerto Rico. About 85% of the island still doesn't have power. According to a report in Business Insider, very few hospitals have reliable electricity, and it could be six months before the legacy grid is even restored. Tesla's microgrids may be a solution, not just in the interim, but for the island switching to renewable energy solutions going forward. In the photos released by Tesla, you can see that the company has already started building the solar array near the hospital, and the company's power pack batteries have also been delivered to the site. Let's hope it starts providing power to the hospital, as well as other important sites on the island, very soon. I'm David Manti. This is IEN Now.